This morning we are at the African hunting dog, um, Avery, with our uh, four adults that we have in here at the moment. Uh, and the good news is that uh, just about eight, nine weeks ago, uh, we had a pup born um, and the pup's now out and about, um, out in the paddock just now with, uh, with mum and dad and um, playing in the sun and chasing the birds. Um, just last week we uh, caught the puppy up uh, to vaccinate it and to sex it. We wait until it's about eight weeks old. It's extremely important with carnivores that you leave um, the youngster and the mother alone for a lengthy period of time. It allows them to bond um, together as a family unit. Um, so we wait till they're about eight weeks old and at that stage we can uh, sex, microchip and vaccinate uh, the youngster. Um, we will catch up again in another four weeks but at the first catch up uh, we found out the youngster is a female um, and we've decided to name her Domino. When we're uh, naming our African hunting dogs we always wait till they're a little bit bigger um, or when they've just arrived we, we have a look at them, we have a look at their personalities, we also look at the coloration on the coat and we use that as an identifier for each individual dog. Um, each dog's uh, coloration on the coat is like an individual fingerprint for that animal um, and it makes it easier for identification, not just for ourselves, but for students as well. So when the youngster was born, it was mainly just kind of black and white. So we wait for the orange coloration to come in and to show any sort of specific patterns or markings on the coat. And we use that um, to then choose a name, which is why we've chosen the name uh, Domino for her. The youngster at the moment is uh, just about nine weeks old, so still quite small. Um, won't be fully grown probably until about the six months stage. Um, already started eating meat, uh, quite comical to see it trying to feed off quite a large carcass um, or trying to pull the carcass away from the adults. Um, some other interesting behaviour that you may well see is the, the youngster begging from all the adults. Um, they'll beg from uh, both its mother and the other female and the other two males um, for them to regurgitate food for it, which they all will do uh, for the youngster. So you'll see a bit of that behaviour going on. Um, but you also see it feeding actively for itself. You'll see some of the adults also disciplining the youngster if they feel that it's just getting a bit too boisterous. Quite often she jumps about and pulls her tail and bounces all over them or uh, starts to nip at them. And she's got quite sharp teeth at the moment. Um, and much the same as you would see in a domestic dog, you know, the adults will maybe pin her down just to kind of put her in her place a little bit. But it's, um, it's all fairly gentle at the moment. But uh, these are just some of the behaviours that you, you might want to look out for. And also you'll see her working as a pack animal as well. She's learning at this stage how to be part of the pack um, and how to work alongside the others, especially when it comes to uh, feeding time.